Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In the previous video, we have successfully updated the product details. If you go to the admin, here if I click on the edit, sample product 1, if I try to update it to sample product 2 and if I click on the edit here, I am able to successfully update this product details. Now it's time for us to work on the delete button also. Let's make this delete button also functionable. If I go into this one, the server is already starting. Oh, if you go into this where we can see, so product list. So this is the product list where we have a delete button. So this product list acts for uh, acts as a template for both the home page and also for the admin products. And here we are having a delete. So in, instead of having this anchor link, what I will try to do is just like the cart button how we are having in the same scenario, I will create a button. So this button delete and this action it will go to products slash delete and this method for this one is post so what is the information i need here product id input type is equal to hidden and the name is equal to product id and the value is i can write simply product dot id that's it so we have completed this one also now let's try to remove this anchor link and here i will write class is equal to btn btn hyphen danger so it's a delete button right let's make it as a danger if i go into this one so here if i try to refresh this page so here i am able to see the delete button successfully so now if i click on this delete button it will try to make a post request so let's try to write the post request also if, if you go into this admin.js routes file let's go on to this admin where is this routes yeah here in the admin.js file here i will write router dot post slash delete if anybody comes delete so here i will be writing post delete product page okay so this one we haven't created up to now let's go to the product controller I will be going to the product controller so in this product controller let's go top and here I will be writing exports dot post delete product page is equal to and here I will be having request and response and in this one so we need to get the data so here if I go into this admin.js let's import this one uh, we have imported and now how we are sending the data so we need to have a product id for deleting this one so how we are sending the data it is nothing but we are sending it as a form data so here i can capture it something like constant product id is equal to request dot body dot product id so this is the name of the hidden variable so that's it so we got the product id now i want to delete this product id here i can write a method delete product delete product by id so let's try to send the product id here so delete product by id we should add it in the model so here let's go into this product.js file it is present in the model uh, models and here i will be writing exports dot delete delete product by id is equal to and here i will be having request and response and in this one i will write <coughs> sorry not request and response sorry sorry we will get a product id here so we will get the product id now first what we need to do so first we need to get all the products inside this for inside in uh, by after getting this all the products we need to filter out the product which is available the product id and we need to remove that product uh, product and we need to again write into the file as we are not using any database so still we are relying on this file database only so let's try to do it First, in order to get all the files, what you can do? Get products from file. Okay. So, we will get all the products. And here, what I want to do? So, here I want to get let updated products. So, updated products means nothing but I want to remove the product present in the products data. So, here I can write products dot filter. I can use the filter. I will get each product and I will check that product dot id dot to string so i will be using to string is not equal to <coughs> product id so if you want you can also maintain this one also as to string so not a problem 
actually it will come as a string only so why because that is a form data variable so now i am checking that <coughs> it should be a product product dot id dot to string is equal to product id dot to string so we are checking that whichever is not equal we need to push it into the updated products now this one will get a new array which doesn't have a product with, a, with this product id which we are trying to send it now here these things we need to update it in the file so here we, what i can do fs dot write file so i can use this one fs dot write file and here i need to get a products path so let's copy this products path so if you want you can also maintain it as a global variable at the top of this one so here i am using products path products path and here i need to write json dot stringify of that updated json we need to pass it so the updated products we need to pass updated products that's it if any error occurs <coughs> you can do console.log of error that's it so now here what we can do is let's say that so we can have a callback here so we will not send anything and here after successfully doing all these things so you can redirect to slash products okay this is a callback and let's go on to this model and you will get a callback here callback and here what i can do is so after finishing these all the things i can write callback that's it finish so this how we will be writing now we are we are able to successfully delete the product let's try to see whether we are able to delete it or not if i go into this one if i refresh this page so far no problem no errors if i click on this sample product 24 i am trying to delete it if i click on the delete here oh gone delete product by id is not defined i think we have missed the import i think so here in the product controller delete product by id we have missed this import let's try to import this one yeah done let's go on to this one and here and i am refreshing this page let's click on the delete again sample product 24 has been deleted if i click on this delete also the sample product is also deleted now no products available is there let's try to add a cart here so i am trying to give some image url and here i am giving 12 and i will be writing here add product has been added so i add product and here i can go and again here i can add another one like this add product done if i go to the admin so these are the products if i want to delete i can delete it directly so now we have successfully did the deleting of the product so edit and delete both are working fine now for example if i uh, if i uh, suddenly added this one to a cart so this one is added to the cart fine this one is added to the cart now in the cart we are having this product now when i when i try to delete this one so we need to delete that one in the cart also so that means after deleting this product i need to check that whether the uh, this product is available in the cart or not if it is available then delete that product in the cart also so we need to do that one so in the next section what we'll try to do is we'll try to delete that product in the cart also nothing so just we'll go to the cart details and we'll get all the cart details and we'll delete that product from the cart details that's it so simply we can do it so let's try to do it in the next session so hope you understood about this one delete product if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you